Hi there, my name is Chris Gaetano with the New York State Society of CPAs, Trusted Professional. With a rapidly changing accounting industry increasingly hungry for new talent, accounting education has become more important than ever before. Here with me to talk about some of the challenges in educating the next generation of CPAs is Cynthia Scarinci, who is the chair of our new Academic Advancement Committee. So uh, I guess the first thing I was wondering was, how did this committee form? We've decided that because there were so many changes in the CPA exam and it's an ever-evolving type exam, that it would be good to have this committee that w we can kind of culminate a, a group of talent. Some of them will be academics, some will be from the industry, some will be from public accounting firms. And the idea is to determine how the exam is preparing the students for the transition into the workplace and how we as educators, because I'm an accounting professor, how we're going to take those students from our colleges and universities and better prepare, prepare them for the transition and the exam. What would you say then that new graduates right now, the biggest challenges that, that they're facing, challenges perhaps that previous generations of newly minted accounting graduates had not had to face before? We've got the 150 credit hours, all right? A bit of a peeve with me. <laughs> I like the 150 credit hours, but I would like to see those additional 30 credit hours utilized better. Mm -hmm. For instance, if there's a specialization, right, use those credits to take tax courses, to take uh, a language perhaps, um, more technology courses so that they're better prepared. The other thing is, is I had always recommended a master's degree because I thought that would be helpful. We've eliminated a year of experience, so let's try and, and replace it with the master's degree. There's a difficulty with that. The difficulty is that students don't receive financial aid for graduate studies. So a lot of them will say it's a great idea, I'd like to do it, I can't afford it. Okay, so now we're back to, well how do we get that undergraduate 30 credits? And it's a good way to do it, but let's produce courses that, that are more relevant for the students. Communications would even be a good, a good uh, minor. So broadening things out then, when you go into, I guess, what people need, what firms need, what students need, in general, what would you feel is the biggest challenge right now in educating the next generation of CPAs? <laughs> technology is a great thing, and I'm all for technology, but we do have some issues with it. Um, as far as software that's being utilized, uh, I think it's a great thing for accounting. It's eliminated a lot of the work. However, technology, smartphones are also a negative. And the students that are graduating don't have the interpersonal skills that they used to have years ago. And the reason that they don't is because there's so much reliance on cell phones and computers, etc. So there's always an app to do something, okay? But there's no app for interpersonal skills. The other issue is sometimes writing. You know, it's an instant society, and I tell my students this all the time. When you're writing an email, be very careful before you hit that send, because once you do, it's gone. Whereas in years past, when you had to correspond with someone, you really had to think about it, right? You took pen in hand, and you yeah, wrote yeah. about it. You couldn't just dash something off. Quickly. Exactly. Um, in the audit trail, things get lost with technology. So I like the students to have a good understanding of the theory behind what they're doing. Um, I had a student say to me, why are you having us prepare bank reconciliations manually? I could do them in QuickBooks with a couple of clicks of a button. Mm -hmm. But then when it came to produce journal entries and analysis, they freeze. I don't know because that's not what the software can do. Mm -hmm. So the whole point is, is the software can't do everything. So I still keep some of the manual aspect to it. Now, I'm not getting back to 14 column spreadsheets. I don't miss those. But what I would like is just to see a little bit more of the thought process involved. And I think that's where the new CPA exam is going. Mm -hmm. I think it's more of a reality-based exam. Uh, there is more of those task-based simulations. And they're cutting back on the multiple choice questions, which I'm happy to see. I think that's a good transition. I think that they should be doing that. Because what I'm hearing from the employers is they're saying we want these students to better be able to analyze. So why should somebody get involved in this committee? Do I necessarily have to be involved in, in academics at all in order to, to be a part of it? Initially the rollout will probably be more academics just so that we, we kind of get a better feel for where our focus will be initially. And then once we start developing the committee further, I'm sure we're going to be calling in and asking for others if they 
have any interest in participating and providing some input, it would be more than welcome. And again, we've got to keep in mind that we're kind of intermediaries, right? So the academics are representing the students, but we need those folks from the public accounting firms, from the governmental agencies, not-for-profits, those types of environments to also become involved because our students need to be prepared to start working in those places.